Barbie camper she is obsessed and the boys are doing Legos so I'm going to try and take advantage and get this balloon arch done I can't think of a birthday party where we have not done a balloon arch even though we're not doing a big party this year so we're gonna get it done this one looks absolutely huge so hopefully it doesn't take forever Faye is just chilling in the swing so hopefully I can really get this done
Okay, it's 10.53 in the morning. I have to pick up Emma's cake here at 11 o'clock, so I just got here. I made a quick little pit stop at Trader Joe's and picked up some flowers for Emma because she told me she wanted flowers for her birthday. And they have this adorable like baby's breath, but it's like rainbow color, so we call it unicorn baby's breath. And I got that and some white roses for her. Picked up a couple things that Justin asked for at Trader Joe's, and now I just got here. I'm gonna pick up the cake. My favorite mom activity on birthday party days is picking up the cake. I don't know why, it's just so exciting. Exciting. I also think we need like a couple chips and some sodas where like I said This is a tiny party in comparison to what we have normally done But I want to grab some sodas and juices some chips just for the couple friends that are coming. Okay, you ready? <laughs> I think this might be her favorite birthday cake yet. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you sure? Are you sure? <laughs> Isn't it so beautiful here? Let me take the box down. How do you take the box down? That's a good question. How do I get it out? I think you're just supposed to break the box, maybe. They don't make this easy. Oh, it looks so cute! Oh, I think you <laughs> Mommy's not very smart. Watch out. Watch out. Oh my gosh. It smells like Pinkie Pie. It smells like Pinkie Pie? Is she getting married? Um, I don't know. I think she's like a ballerina Barbie. I'm a Barbie princess cake. It's all good. We gotta get the cake stand down. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. I think so you can work it. Did I get it? Oh. <laughs> I had to leave for the grocery store before this girl woke up from her nap and she had already been asleep for like an hour and a half so I had a feeling she was gonna wake up while I was at the grocery store. So I left Justin some pumped milk that I pumped in the middle of the night just in case and she had her first like five, bottle. Like five seconds it took her to be like, all right. It was her first bottle and I'm kind of sad because I missed it because with all the other kids I've been there when they've had their first bottle but this was her first ever so bottle and I missed it. Justin sent me this picture. It was so cute, she looks so happy. But I got home and my boobs were hurting so bad because I had not fed her. I didn't want to pump right when I got home because I wanted to feed her, but I just used the haka on the other side and it is like four full ounces just from being gone and missing one feeding. That is crazy. I'm glad she's taking a bottle, but I'm also just kind of sad because that means that she's getting bigger. We've been putting it off for a couple weeks because we didn't want to do it right away. If you're wondering, by the way, this is the bottle Justin used with her today. These are the ones we use with the boys. They are like the cheapest bottles you can buy in like a three pack. We learned with Emma when we tried to introduce bottles that we bought the really expensive fancy ones and she didn't even like them. It was like this whole ordeal. So the boys, we just got these at the hospital when they were born because they were formula fed and breastfed and they worked great. So we got these again for her and she took it like a champ and they're like the cheapest ones that you can find. So don't go spending like so much money on the fancy bottles right out the gate. Try the affordable ones first and then work your way back up. Now we have a little bit more milk just in case. And it's good to know that if I need to go out at any point now that she will take that so I'm not gonna be stressed out rushing to get home and worry about her being so hungry.
but I'm still on the ground. It's a dizzying day. I would give love to get away. It's getting real dark in here. Feels like I've been here a thousand. Just left. We are cleaning up a little bit. Emma requested to hang out on the couch and watch her second birthday video. So that is what we are doing. Her horse birthday party, if you guys watch that vlog, I will link it if you guys wanna see it. But that was her horsey birthday party and she just loves to watch that vlog for some reason. So maybe someday she'll wanna watch this one. You're so funny, you wanna watch this old birthday video. Yeah. Mm. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> I love you. Did you have a good day? I did. You did? What was your favorite part of today? Um, the water. The water slide? Yeah. That's good. They are now currently binge watching all of their birthday videos. It's one of my favorite reasons that I film these is because then they like to go back and watch them. But they're binge watching <laughs> yeah, and their birthdays. Reminds us of how time is fleeting. I, I every can't time believe we that watch she's these. gonna be having a fourth birthday someday, and by then yeah. Emma will be eight. Like, oh my gosh, it's crazy. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll talk to you again soon. Happy birthday, Emma! We love you so much.